All right, now we're going to uh, start taking a look at main stage. And I thought we would start off with the preferences. Uh, you can see here uh, in the general preference area, we have tuning, startup, alerts, parameter values, and graphics. To be honest, most of these I leave at the at the defaults for the tuning 440 is, uh, is standard. Uh, I always like to open the most recent concert. You can choose to open it in perform mode or full screen mode or do nothing if you like. I, I usually work just like this when I'm working with main stage, so it makes sense for me to, to have these concerts open like they are. The parameter values on patch changes. So for instance, if you move from light drive to warm drive and you have changed one of the parameters, do you want to keep the current value or reset to the saved? You have a choice to do there. And of course the graphics, I, I just leave that on automatic as well. Now the audio MIDI section. Uh, is something that you will be in depending on your your audio interface. I always leave the uh, audio output at the system setting that way I can set it in the sound control panel. The audio input as you can see right now I have a tone port UX2 hooked up that is a, a line 6 device. The IO buffer size I had set at 128 you can pick your uh, your sample size and a lower sample uh, requires more CPU for the buffer but it's less latency. So uh, I, I usually stick around 128. That's a, a pretty good balance between the two. Uh, the sample rate of 44.1. Now here's a, an interesting one. Silence previous patch. Now you have a choice here. I, I like to have it set immediately. So if I move from uh, from a light drive to a warm drive, do you want any kind of a delay in there? Or do you want the other patch to kick in immediately? Myself, I want it to kick in immediately. That's the way that uh, I typically play. Uh, you may want uh, something a bit different, and you can set that in there. The threshold for CPU usage, and of course, the uh, the standard MIDI display there. And of course, your MIDI status, uh, two MIDI inputs detected. Uh, so after, when you first get your audio device, one of the first things that you're going to do is come into the preferences uh, in main stage and set up your audio device, which will show up in one of these these menus. Uh, you just choose it. It'll, uh, it'll change over. And once you plug your guitar into the front of that device, uh, you should have some sound coming through.